What? what? This is me discovering a glitch that completely breaks the game. And this one glitch can launch me hundreds of blocks in the sky, make me immortal, and most importantly, allows me to kill players without even being in the same room as them. So since this glitch can give me all this power, I want to use it to my advantage and exploit it on this server. And this story starts with a single boat. You're, you're still in the boat. Bro, I'm right next to you. Can you not see me? You see, if I just log in and out of a boat, it glitches the game to show my player inside a boat to every other player. But for me, I can run around outside the boat. Let's test something. Can you still hit me if technically you're behind these blocks? What? And at this moment, I found out just how insane this glitch is because as long as a player is within a five block radius of my boat, no matter if they are behind blocks or not, I can still hit them. But I still wasn't even close to discovering everything about this glitch and I would test it more later because right now an event is happening at spawn and it's the perfect time to troll everyone by hitting them through the floor. Hey. Hello there. <laughs> I did this glitch directly under the spawn nether portal and by splashing invis on myself to hide my name tag, no one could find me and as people tried to go through the portal, Portal, I was able to hit them out of it from underground. How are you doing that? Yo, how are you doing that? Okay, I'm gonna send you something really quick. What the <laughs> hell? Wait, get here near the portal. She's so confused. <laughs> oh, let me get rendered. He's looking around. He's looking here, around. Here, here, here. <laughs> He said, stand in front of me. I'm going to send him a screenshot. How are you doing that? Since I was able to confuse a ton of SMP members with no one knowing how to do this glitch, I decided this would be a good opportunity to gain a ton of power and use this glitch for even more deadly things. And first, if I glitched myself so I was completely invisible to other players, I could hypothetically follow them to a secret base or any valuables. However, I realized when in a glitch state, you can only walk the distance where your chunks are loaded from your original position, which was a huge problem since I couldn't follow follow anyone long enough for it to benefit me in any way. But my teammate came up with an idea to counter this. You see, if my actual player in the boat was pushed by something like a flying machine, it could load more chunks for me to travel in. And if this worked, it would give me a huge advantage. All right, we're going to go to the height limit first, okay? We're going to go flying into the sky. Okay, here we okay. go. <laughs> Why are we jumping? What if I move the boat forward? Stop! Stop! <laughs> oh my god! Wait, should I turn my chunk or my renders distance up? Oh, we stopped jumping. Was it because I... Oh! <gasps> Alright, so why the hell are we falling? And why is there gonna be a flying machine up there? How did we glitch under? So I turned my render distance up. That's why! Alright, uh, part two? Take two. Okay, okay, we're Bro, here. I'm so high up, what the? <laughs> and now that we were at height limit, allowing me to load a ton of chunks, my teammate Caleb was going to build a flying machine, pushing me forward, that would hopefully allow me to continue loading chunks when I glitch myself. Okay. So I do the glitch now. Oh god, I don't think this is gonna work. Robin. Oh, no, I'm just, I'm like normally in the boat. It, it doesn't glitch now. Once I tried this glitch at height limit, something wasn't right and the glitch just stopped working, almost like I had to be on the ground to do it. So we decided to head back down and try again since we had high hopes this would work. Uh, I'm out of clutch, ready? So I don't think I'm ever going to play this game ever again. Now you should be able to uh, fix your boat in the right spot. Okay. Taking a long time. <gasps> what? <laughs> They're in the sky! They're in the sky! What Dude, you logged on and you went flying. Die. You literally got launched into the sky. I can do it again. Oh my god! What is this glitch? What is this Oh my god, what just happened? What the And you just up there. What? Wait, wait, how? What the? Wait, okay, yeah, do it, do it, do it. I want to see, I want to see. Oh my god! Wait, I want to get, I want to get someone here. I want to get someone, I want someone's reaction. Okay, here, come to Caleb's base. Is this a crazy thing? It's gonna be sick, bro. It's gonna be sick. It did not. What? What? Are you hacking? This is not hacking. What? What kind of magic is this? Wait, can I have the boat? I can do it too, I can do it too. You guys want to try? <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god! So for some completely random reason, by trying to do the boat glitch on top of slime blocks, we were all launched up hundreds of blocks in the sky. And though this meant our flying machine plan to load more chunks wouldn't work, we just discovered something never seen before in the game. And so now, since there was no solution to follow anyone for a long enough distance, I decided to move on and exploit the most broken aspect of this glitch, hitting people through blocks. Because I didn't use this feature to its full potential. When I trolled the server by hitting them from underground earlier, they easily ran away, which, when they left my range, prevented me from hitting them. However, a way to stop this is to trap a player within the five block range of my boat. Then they couldn't run away and I could kill them from behind a wall. So I decided if I was gonna 
gonna go forward with this trap, I wanted to use it on this server's strongest player, Flame, because if I succeeded in killing him, it would be his first death, which is a huge deal. And the first step to this glitch trap was getting his logout spot so I could build an obsidian box around it and kill him when he next logs on. And luckily, a player was following Flame in Viz right now and was preparing to get his logout spot. Okay, okay, where's Flame? Where's Flame? He's, he's like redecorating his base. So now that we have eyes on Flame, we had to somehow get him off while we can still see him, and we really didn't have much time. So I called in for some extra help. Cool. Right. Okay, okay. KJ knows where Flame is in a, like a couple minutes. I'm gonna need you to try and get Flame on Legacy for a bit. Unless you're busy right now. No, I'm literally on Legacy right now. Okay, thank you. I'll message you when you get him off. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Oh, okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be really interesting. All right, I'm like pretty close. Okay, I'm gonna message main pair to get him off. I need to get the obsidian. Wait, Caleb? No. After I messaged main pair to get Flame to log out, I realized I forgot to get my obsidian back from my teammate. And since main pair was already working on getting Flame offline, he could log out any minute, which would give me an even smaller time frame to build the trap, and I would for sure get caught. So I had no choice but to run as fast as I could to get the obsidian. I can't believe I gave my obsidian away just before the Oh my god, I gave you my obsidian and I need it for the trap. Oh my god, thank you. All right. He just ate a notch for oh. no reason and then logged out. He logged out. Yeah, I have the exact block. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I see you. Okay, um, we need to make a giant obsidian box around this. Dig down. I'm gonna put like three layers of obsidian under him. Okay, so now I just need to make a ton of layers. You wanna help? Just like uh, a room. It has to be small. So one, two, three. Here. So it needs to be that small of a room. Okay, so now just keep making this really thick. Okay, let me make sure the glitch works. What the? No. I swear, if this is a spot where I can't do the glitch. Oh God. How do I fix this? Why can't I do it? Wait, what? Please work, please. I'm in the void. I'm just in the void. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What if it's like a Y level thing, so I have to be below a certain Y level to do the glitch? Yeah, no, it just worked when I was on a lower Y level. No way, because you logged down on a mountain and saving him. Oh, no. Okay, I think we're going to have to do this another time. Main pair can't stall for any longer. He said Flame's about to log on any second. I think we should just... Okay, 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 okay. Just okay. run, just run. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna like... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna put a sign there and be like... Like, fake trapped or something, okay? Okay, okay. Get out of there! Oh my god. Okay, okay. I'm I can't I can't leave quick enough. I'm, I'm portaling out. I'm portaling out. I was pooping in pants. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just... Okay, hold on, hold on, Can hold I on. blame this on you? I really don't want him to be suspicious of me. If you want to. Put a sign that says, I'm always watching or something. Because that's the kind of cringe yeah, yeah, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm always, always watching. watching you. Okay, I'm gonna block it up. Uh, Viz, just in case. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna get out of here. Wait. Okay, okay, okay. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Now, after just barely making it away from the trap, I couldn't help but think about what really prevented me from doing the glitch. Because I noticed that when I was on a lower Y level or around Y level 75, the glitch started working. But as soon as I went up the mountain to do the glitch, I appeared in the void. And if the glitch really does only work below a certain Y level, it would explain why I couldn't do the glitch at height limit earlier. So to confirm this, I tried the glitch on every Y level. And when I got to Y level 79, this happened. Okay, I'm the boy. Bruh, so it is a Y level thing. This just confirmed Y levels do have an effect on if the glitch does and doesn't work. So with this in mind, I knew I could 100% kill someone with this trap now that I know not to do it above this Y level. Now, I wasn't going to try and trap Flame again since he is now aware something is going on. So instead, the other day I was jumped by this player named Spong. So to get revenge, I could use this glitch trap on him, but also I knew he was an easy kill. <laughs> hey, Fine. Comfort. Okay. Follow me. Just, just do what I say, okay? If you just, can you just do what I say? I can do what you say, Jumpy. Um. I think this is this is good. So can you just um <laughs> just log out for like three minutes? Oh, no. I, Please. Oh. Would you look at the time? <laughs> I have to take my dog outside for three minutes. Uh -huh. And now that he was gone, I'm honestly surprised he logged out there. I quickly built the obsidian box around his logout spot, and now it was time to test if the glitch worked. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Okay, Spongs, you can log back on if you want. Oh, shoot, I'm back, guys. My dog said it was a great walk outside. All right, I'm rejoining. I hope nothing happened. <laughs> Jumper? Jumper, I think there's a mistake. How are you... How, wait, how do you have your sword out? I can't see you. What the hell? What? The? How, what? What? Wait, how's your, how was your sword out? How did you... Wait, how were you in... You're invisible, and I couldn't no, see you. No, I'm not invisible. Item. What do you mean you weren't invisible? I had my armor on. What? Wait. If you had your armor on, and you were completely invisible, all that means... <laughs>
Is your hacking? I'm like, not what? hacking. Okay, Spongs, it's been fun, but I gotta go. Good luck figuring this one and out. And in the end, I was successfully able to exploit and test out everything this glitch has to offer. And I'm so proud of the discoveries and achievements I made along the way. Also, I have no idea why, but this glitch only works in specific servers. This is like a really weird glitch, so if you test it out, good luck.